So the one in blue colors are the distribution reinforcement. The position of the distribution reinforcement is the T2, which is also known as near top reinforcement. These are the reinforcement that we use to distribute the top reinforcement. So you can see that if you look at this span, you can see that MY and MX, they are both along the short span. So along the short span of the of this lab, you have reinforcement along the X and you also have reinforcement along the Y. But if you look at this end, you only have reinforcement along the Y, which is this one, which is M1. Then at this end here, you only have reinforcement along the Y as well, which is M2. So you need another reinforcement that is going to counterbalance, that is going to distribute this reinforcement. So this reinforcement that is distributing this reinforcement is what we call the distribution reinforcement. And for M1, so this is one, so this is the reinforcement. This reinforcement, this blue reinforcement, is going to distribute this reinforcement at the top. It's going to distribute this one. It's going to distribute this one. And it's also going to be distribute this one. If you look at the call out, this is the call out for the bar. You can see it's, it spans from here to here. That is where this one starts to where it ends. Then where this one starts again, it's also continuing from here to here. Then where this one continue from here to here because the reinforcement will not be placed on the beam so it will, it will not be put on in the beam position so that's why we put this distance then it's also going to span this one from here to here so that is the importance of the distribution reinforcement so the distribution reinforcement is, is going to is going to be the reinforcement that is going to be placed in order to balance the detailing so the same thing applies to m3 and m4 there is reinforcement placed at the along the X 